What's going on Workforce, Brian here, and today we're talking about maximizing the most out of your coin and your time played in Anthem. Now the game offers a cash shop, or it also offers you the ability to purchase everything in that store with in-game currency. So the question is, how do you make all the coin? And there's a lot of ways the game actually goes about feeding you the coin, and you might not be aware of it. My hope with this video is to show you several pointers, several areas to focus in on, so that way you can actually get as much coin as possible as soon as possible, but also make sure that you're taking advantage of any daily, weekly, or monthly bonuses. Now the screen that's up right now is the Alliance screen and I'll show you exactly where you go to see this if you have not found this already. But here it shows your top contributors to your weekly Alliance bonus. And right now I'm sitting at 2700. This looks obviously to go up as everybody here on this list eventually hits level 10 for the week. So this weekly reset is going to reset sometime Monday evening. So thinking in your mind every Tuesday you're going to have a new weekly contribution to your alliance to kind of feed and to play with but obviously this is really an incentive to have friends who play this game so be sure that if you don't have any friends and you need some you're playing on pc come check us out we're happy to help uh, especially get you these alliance bonuses so this is just free coin that you shouldn't leave on the table be sure to take advantage of it as best you can and to be able to check the status you're down here in <laughs> in this area and you can see weekly hey, alliance statuses also, you have your daily trials, your weekly trials, and your monthly trials in which you can see what you need to do. In this case, Elite Slayer by defeating Elite Enemies 3 of 2. These are various things that you can kind of take advantage of, but one of the things I want to point you at now is actually under your challenges. By hitting the select button or essentially the back button depending on your controller, you can jump over here into the challenges. And right now I have no track challenges, but you can easily track various challenges. Going under the path of glory, right now you can see weekly and monthly, but as far as it goes, there are daily, weekly, and monthly challenges that you want to go ahead and take advantage of. Now I've completed all my daily challenges, and if I pull them up, this one was for 500 coin, this one was for 1500 coin, this one was for another 500 coin, and daily legendary in this case was just for some chimeric compound, no coins there. So that's 2500 coin. Now, assuming that these pretty much stay the same. Who knows, they could rotate in and out as the game continues on. But assuming they stay the same for you know the rest of the time, by the time you're watching this video, uh, that's 2,500 coin a day that you can take advantage of. 1,750 you know, or something like that uh, as a part of your week. Then from your weekly perspective, you can see I've already done one weekly at 2,000 coin. If I go look at my other weeklies, which are getting close, another 2,000, another 2,000, and finally another 2000 coin for things to do. Pressing the X button here on the controller is going to allow me to track these weekly strongholds in this case. So what that does, that feeds me another 8000 coin just on those challenges alone. Now under my monthly, I'm not seeing anything right here that's actually a warding coin. So we're gonna keep it locked, you know, a track of this to see, but Masterwork Ember, 150 for my monthly, which is just a part of your weekly and your daily challenges, getting that knocked out. You can see here, uh, it looks like it's going to reset pretty soon. I'm wondering if that's a bug. But regardless, be sure to come and check out these challenges. These are repeatable challenges, and it really will feed you a lot of coin, 2,500 to 2,700, uh, depending on how I've decided to do my math <laughs> in my head uh, from this perspective. That's on top of, obviously, your you know alliance bonuses. So seeing those, seeing that kind of as a weekly cadence, now you're like, well, Brian, uh, you know, some of the gear is 6,100. Well, this is just stuff that's repeatable weekly stuff that you're going to see come over and over again. And the other thing is from the coins perspective, be sure to come in and check out these expeditions. So if I go into expeditions here, you can see critical and you have various things, early warnings. Uh, what is it going to reward? Banners, finding old friends. That's another 2,000 coins and that's just a quest mission. These are obviously one-time things, so this will just feed you a lot of coin as well. So if you're trying to save up, if you're trying to get in a hurry and you're like, how can I be able to get more? Come check out your challenge log basically and see what these things reward you in this case, 3,200 coins. So I, I'm finding that the coins flowing rather regularly. Obviously this is going to see how this evolves from here. You have feats, you have weapons, you have combat, you have javelin. You also have freelancer, various silencers. I'm seeing some of these level up where it's like level one then level two. So I'm wondering if that will continue on and continue on. Only time will tell, but I just really wanted to make a highlight of both the Alliance system 
and the weekly, monthly, uh, daily challenges. So that way you can get the most out of it. So friend up, find some friends, also go out. And this is not on top, and this is obviously sitting on top of uh, any of the, what the missions reward, whatever you find out in the field and treasure boxes and strongholds and things like that. So all in all, we'll have to wait and see, like uh, time will tell whether this is a, you know, a well flowing uh, form of currency. I think that right now it's feeling like I'm definitely getting plenty of things. I've been able to do a lot of shopping and haven't had the, you know, A, been tempted to buy any shards, but B, also been able to get a lot of coin. Guys, fork to game. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Let me know if you have any tips or tricks of, uh, you know, Anthem yourself, if you're finding things uh, especially easy or especially difficult. Uh, yeah, sound off in the comments below. Uh, we're here to help. Hopefully you come and check out our Discord. But I, <laughs> without further ado, I'm going to wish you guys a fantastic time in Anthem. Uh, and I'll talk to you next time. Take care. Hey guys, it's me, Brian. Uh, thanks so much for watching this video. If you're new here, we hope you hit that subscribe button. Check us out. We talk a lot about video games and we hope to at least hear from you in the comments below. We also try to respond to our comments. You know, we really appreciate the comments, the discussion, all the various points of view that everybody is so kindly, uh, I guess, and politely or impolitely shares with us from time to time. So anyway, guys, again, uh, thanks for watching this video. We hope you hit that like button. We hope you hit that subscribe button. Come back for more content each and every day. Uh, we post a lot around here and we'd love to hear from you about what you like about video games and everything. And uh, especially if you have any questions that you're stuck on in anything. So anyway, signing off. <laughs> See you next time.